I'm Kaylin. I'm Kelsey. And I'm Kristen. And we are the K3 Sisters Band. And we're hanging out with J14. Yeah, growing up, we always watched the Harry Potter movies and we've always had a big love for it because it takes you into this fantasy world where you can really believe in magic and yeah. we love to going to Universal Studios in Hollywood and Orlando. We just loved that wizarding world of Harry Potter. We love going in our house colors too and just repping our houses there. Yeah. So we, we love that place. It's a nice place to lose yourself in. <laughs> yeah. Last year on TikTok, we sang Double Trouble for Harry Potter's birthday, which was July 31. Yes. I believe so. And the Harry Potter fandom, including us, <laughs> but the Harry Potter fandom on TikTok went nuts and ever since then we started posting more Harry Potter content so that's kind of how that started. Yeah. yeah and the fans love it <laughs> and so do we. We started uh, making TikTok videos not really having a, a set destination in mind we're like let's just get a TikTok Kristen actually got us into it. Do you want to yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, I was the one that initiated it because I'd heard some crosstalk saying like, oh, this new app, like it's it's not musically anymore. It's TikTok. It's this new content sharing thing. And I was like, oh, well, let me sniff this out. And so I did. And I was like, guys, this is really cool. Like we should get one and start making videos. And man, it just it skyrocketed. We yeah. did comedy skits. And then when the Harry Potter thing yeah. came in, it just whew, Blew up. But we did some band content because we're a band first, you know, yeah. we've been a band for 11 years and we also did some like sibling content as well. Yeah, we also post our TikToks on our YouTube channel, K3 Sisters Band, where we do TikTok compilations and we also post them to Reels. Songwriting is truly like magic. I believe that if you open yourself up to the universe, it will reveal itself to you. So with songwriting for me, it can range from me getting hit like a bolt of lightning and I instantly rush into my room, I grab my songbook, my songbook and my pencil and I just words on paper, write it out and it hits me like I did with my song Queen Bellatrix. Or it can take years to write. You know, we've been a full band for 12 years performing around Texas and all over the globe. And, you know, I'm not afraid to shelf a song, you know, because I think it all depends on, you know, if I'm in the mood or not. Like, do yeah. I feel sad? I'll work on that song. If I'm feeling, you know, love, then I'll work on that one, you know? So I'm not afraid to let a song develop over years and time. Yeah, and sometimes songwriting is very serendipitous. You kind of find something without looking for it. Yeah. And that often is the way it is with me. I, I'm just playing in my room or in our studio here, just on my electric guitar, and I'm like, whoa, what did I just play? And so because of that, we always record on our yes. um, phone, on voice notes, yeah. Yeah. anything we do. It also seems to be, too, that a lot of times the melody will come first. Yeah. When you don't even have any lyrics yet, you might have like a hook line or something to go off of, but you can like, pretty much write a song with a with just the melody too sometimes. But yeah, one of us will have a song and then we'll get the other two together yeah, and be like, guys, oh, I, I got this. And then we all work together to finish the song and we all arrange it together. And then that's how a new song comes into the K3 Sisters Band. <laughs> In the next couple years, we have no idea if the live show and concert industry is going to prevail or what, or if that's even going to happen. So we are definitely continuing to sharpen our instrumental skills with our instruments we play and our voices and keep doing our live stream concerts on YouTube that we do every Saturday. Yeah, we definitely want to broadcast to the whole world internationally too you know, to keep doing that because we really love to connect to our fans directly on stage, you know, through a live stream because we almost have created- four cameras. Yeah, we, we, we live stream with four cameras. It's a whole production. We brought our own sound yes. too. We are fourth generation instrumentalists, you know, instrument players. And we want to continue that tradition. And I feel like that's also why we have the creative genes, you know, to write these songs and do these live shows every week on our YouTube channel, yeah, 1 p.m. CST. <laughs> but we've definitely created a community within our live streams. You know, people are constantly messaging in the in the live chat, and we love to see their comments. And it's been a lot of fun for us to reunite or unite those people in the comments. As yeah, well. you know, we are a band first, as Kelsey said. You know, we we don't really consider ourselves social media stars. You know, we have our band success. You know, we use social media as a tool in which 
to use to help build our audience and also to tell our fans, you know, when our shows are, you know, our themed concerts or anything weekly. And that's really special to us. You know, we really appreciate our fans. Yeah.